Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be focusing on mainly the inside of the car. I'm going to try and remove all the factory sound deadening from basically Ryan, uh, everywhere. <laughs> um, it's definitely not going to be the most exciting. And it might be a little repetitive, but I think it'll be pretty cool to see all the different stages of how everything comes off. And I'll, uh, I'll obviously speed it up so you get a much more abbreviated version in like a 10 minute video versus, you know, probably hours of doing this. The other thing I want to show you guys was uh, the engine bay again. One of the things I want to do, now that I had the uh, engine bay, or most of the engine bay cleared out, um, I went ahead and test fit the inner fender aprons that I bought a couple weeks back, and uh, it cleans up the look of the uh, front of the engine bay by a lot. This is what the stock thing looks like. These are the prefab panels. Um, I don't know if you remember, but this side was the, the side that was a lot worse. The factory sheet metal was pretty cut up. There's a huge hole in it. It just wasn't a clean job, so that's why I got these. And uh, with these comes a lot more work too. You're gonna have to tuck a couple of lines, but I think uh, in the end it'll be well worth the effort. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm gonna start with the sound deadening. So I'm just gonna wipe all the residue on this side here. Uh, I picked this product up, Goo Gone Pro Power. It's the third product I've tried. Uh, first I had that goof off stuff, which worked good, but I found it dried up pretty quickly. I like this stuff just because um, it kind of leaves like an oily texture, so it doesn't really dry up. It just allows it to soak in nicely, and then after a while you can kind of just scrape it off.
everyone's scraping my life away, I've uh, tried my best to save all the pieces I've taken out of the car, just so at the end I could collect it all and um, you know weigh it, see how much it weighs. So here inside, you can see, you can see this is all the scrap I basically pulled out of the car. Uh, keep in mind, it's probably not every single little piece. I mean, you know. You're going to lose some pieces along the way, but this will give you a pretty decent idea of what kind of weight you'd be pulling out of the car. So there you go, 13.9. So this is a super tedious process. It's really time consuming and messy. Um, if you're watching and debating whether you want to do this or not, uh, here you go and now you'll know roughly what, what kind of weight savings you're looking at.